Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions of Eurovision 2021. In this video I'm going to be reacting to Switzerland's entry called To Univer... To Univer... Okay, listen bitch. French ain't my thing. I don't speak French. I'm not good with French. And that's a little bit more of a complicated French. So, you know, I, when I listen to the song we'll hear how it's pronounced, alright? And it's by John's Tears or John's Tears. I never know if it's it's John, right? Like, I'm not being crazy when I say that, right? Or Gion? I don't know. I don't want to... Ah! I am really, really excited to get into this entry because I know it's an entry that fans really, really love. I know everybody's hyping it up. I know Eliana Gomez Blanco loves John's Tears. People loved his entry last year. His entry was good last year. Slow songs are not always my favorite. And so we're going to see. I've got a feeling he's not going to do a bop. I'm sure this is going to be another slow song and slow ballad. He's got the voice for it, though. So I'm still excited to see what he brings. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Okay, beautiful voice, as we know. I like that it's kind of starting out very intimate. I feel like even just seeing him and his face and it feels like you're getting into his head and you're feeling his emotions a little bit more. Ooh, okay, storytelling, damn. I like the way that they kind of like built around that. Like they didn't give everything up at once. Like you're just seeing him, you're like, oh, what's he doing? I don't speak the language, right? I do not speak the language. So being able to kind of tell the story with the video is very helpful with me. So I like that they kind of just show him on the ground. You're like, what's going on? What is he doing on the ground? He looks kind of cool, you know, but what's he doing there? And then it pans up and now we see, oh, there was a car wreck. Hold on. Now I'm drawn in. Let's see what else happens. Oh, now we're in space, damn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, visuals are very cool. Okay, I can't speak the language, right? I'm sorry, I know y'all are mad, I'm, I'm pausing it. But the story I'm getting right now is that he died. And now he's on his way to heaven. He's driving his car up into heaven. That's the story I'm getting. That's the story I'm going with. Mm. I feel like we're following the car. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we're doing. This video is very interesting. There's something about this, there's something about it that doesn't feel so sorrow and sad as his... Ooh. Whoa! Oh my god. Ooh, I just got chills. I just got chills. It's just this burst, you know? It really feels like I just got hit by a car, but it's the song, you know? Oh my god. This video is insane. What I wanted to say is I feel like this song, you know, last year it was very mopey and sad and you know, I don't want to say that like it wasn't talking about important subject matter that you should be sad about, but this one, there's something about it that feels more... I know I'm witnessing him being like killed in a car crash, but there's something about it that feels like it's not just sorrow and sadness. It's like also this breath of fresh air and this boom, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm sad. I don't want to be sad for three minutes. I do want some resolution to the story. And this one feels a little bit brighter. You know what I mean? Oh. 
Oh, he's gotten up. He's all good. He's not dead. What's he going for? Is there someone in the car? Bitch, I feel like I'm watching a movie. Is that himself? Oh, he pulled himself up out of that wreck himself. He said, you're good. Get out of there. Bruh. That was a plot twist on the end, first and foremost. And that took me somewhere. There was a journey that I was just taken on with that. And I liked it. Oh. Now that was good. That's how you do a ballad in my book. That's how you do a ballad in my book. That was really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I just like that because, oh, there was so much more dips and twists and turns and plot twists and it made me really like feel something. I felt like we were going somewhere. I really felt just the journey that it took me on and I liked it. I liked that song so much better than last year. That was one last year was good. And that vocal is insane. And I know I've seen him perform live before, not like actually in person, but I've seen the videos of him performing live. I know he can sing. I. No, he can sing. So I'm so excited to see him perform this live because there's those high notes and I know he's going to hit them and I know it's going to be great unless he doesn't. And then I'm going to be really embarrassed and scared for him. But I, I have faith in him. And that was really, really good. I see why it's so high up in the odds right now because that's an amazing entry from Switzerland. You know, they really brought it. They they got themselves a star. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Switzerland's entry for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at MaxRainbow, so you don't miss out on any posts polls, live streams, anything like that, as well as you can now support me on my Patreon. Right now I am not working, so I can focus 100% on my Eurovision content for you guys because I've been so neglectful, so you guys subscribing to me on my Patreon helps me out so much so that I can, um, live and survive. So, um, you know, if you like this content, like, and you want to support me, subscribe to my Patreon. The link will be in the description down below. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.